for public enterprises. Um, it has a board of directors that run it. It had a small campus attached to Hyderabad, in Hyderabad University, Osmania University. It moved to an ambitious campus away from the city. Um, but it's a very ambitious institute because the person who runs it at the helm of the affairs is very ambitious. He likes um, doing things in style. So this cozy boardroom, which hosts um, uh, close to about $300 billion just now in its net cap. I've just looked at the names of the companies and I put the equity to it and somebody said it's cool to about $300 million. So that's the worth of what people are here, if not the goodwill and the market value. Something attractive, you kept looking at it. Just imagine what you looked at it. I know what this man, naughty man was looking at, you know. So imagine, <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Uh, his name is Professor Sai Kumar, please stand. His heart is of giving, just keep giving. He's giving all the time. Now let me introduce to you the very dynamic, his mental age is only 18, his energy is that of a, of a 11 year old, but his physical age must be 65, but he doesn't give up. Today he looks like Richard Branson to me, straight from Bollywood. Please welcome the very young and dynamic, Dr. R.K. Mishra. hairstyle today. <laughs> we did it only for this occasion. <laughs> yeah, he got them all permed up and you know he went to a parlor, got it permed up, and now the bill I'm going to be paying. So. <laughs> I'm going to say a few words. Come on. And this is a great occasion. Let me first welcome uh, Dr. Bhatia, who is traveling all the way from India and his team. Please join me in giving a big I think great leaders, great leaders in the sense that they lead leaders. Even in business and in our positions, they lead vocation. And vocation must also be extended in a sense. And if someone does it, someone sacrifices his entire life for that, I think then that is a moment of great tribulation. So please, as you know that you do this, I request you to please. <laughs> one thing, in society, we need money, we need power, we need positions, we need progress, we need growth. But here is a person who has dedicated his entire life for the cause of the, you know, for the cause of students. I think we need more and more such people. I can't be one like him, but then I appreciate that. Also, I think when I say that, I P and my colleagues are very happy to be welcome all of you. You are all part leaders. And I don't think there is any other way Formula that could be fixed to thought. And I think it is thought, I think, which leads society, which takes you to one question from another question. Not, I think, physical things, material resources, or minds, I think, or rockets. They're all they come from our mind. And I think it's a very great moment for the Institute to have leaders of your life uh, in the Institute. And if our industry is British in thoughts, then I don't think there can be any reason why we should be second to China or any other country. If you believe in thought, then I think we can have a quantum jump. And that quantum jump will not be for one time. Every minute, every second, every day, there will be quantum jumps. Because if you have a good thought, you become good. Like in industry also, if you think that we should have, you know, a production which doesn't endanger, endanger, you know, the stability of society or sustainable society, it is a really great part. So that we are in harmony with people, we are in harmony with nature. Can we also think 
that though we have positions of CMPs, GMs, and directors, but people who work in the industry at any level, they are our people. And if we do that, I think that we can make the industry great. And if all the industries are great, there is no reason for the country not to become great. We certainly become great. There is another reason why I welcome all of you and why my colleagues are not. I have been talking about that. And that has some uh, perspective in relation to mental education. Mental education can become true in its real sense only when industry and institutes they work together. Maybe I think the policy. But then I don't think governments at the central or state level they can guide the destiny of education. If they do that, then that they lose the for education. And that is what is happening in our country. We have seen the Times list, and we don't see in that list any IIT there. We don't see any IIT there. They all are having you know, somehow we have to get a hundred fifty place that will last I think portion over there. In the name of sciences, the slip from twelve to thirty years. At this time I think one of the margin improvement that we will come to like what did he say? This shows I think that industry and academic institutions they are not working together. This is not a good sign. We have a good balance sheet. But understand this good balance sheet will be there only for a few years. If some companies have made it to the you know, five companies of fortune and they are there for 150, 200 years, why not even companies should exist for 500 years? And if we have to exist for 500 years, then you can't be right between people who own the industry people who run the industry and people who are going to join the industry. Because now we are talking about option management. Maybe actually we still have family on business type is type. But I think the day is not very far when under the, this globalization we become more and more option. But beyond that I think we have to see that this class is it must be over. One thing and society, especially younger students, I think, because you can understand no army in the world. No army in the world can contain students and you know uh, what they want to do. Our students are very good, they are disciplined, they are not showing their remorse, they are not showing their anger. But if that happens, I think that will not be something very good for society. And therefore, I think I would like from all of you, all of you who have very senior positions in industry. Somehow I think we try to have connect, build up a connect, and that connect should not be a uh, you know, very unique kind of connect. We have connects in this country, but these connects are something you know, uh, like you know, arteries, you know, when blood doesn't flow. And when blood doesn't flow, flow then one or the other part will go to the river. Sometimes you have heart attack, sometimes you have problem here. The same problems are there, I think. We will be happy to work. In an isolated area, you will be happy to us in an isolated manner there, but isolation will, will, will not solve the problems. If you come together, then we are not one person, we are more than that. We will be happy human beings, our investors, for coming out with the portals of these institutes, and see that there is a meaning for them to study. And which I will like, please make more interest in the I should not say how, but please come and teach here. Please ask what kind of process we should do. Please uh, prepare a case and run that case over here. We have six journals. Please publish, I think, the papers over here. Please use, I think, this kind of facility to sign up conferences, get together, more meetings. This will have been over here. And also check, I think, with the students. Because when you check them, you know, I think, what kind of people you know, that are coming out of some institutions and what kind of people you want. You know, then you can tell us that, you know, we are not doing them well uh, or you are doing them better. So, when I say that, let me once again think, all of you, I think, you know, coming to Shamitri is an exercise by itself. <laughs> Somebody told me yesterday, I told that there is a very clear formula in our country. If you talk of metro, then flight time is less than the time you take from the airport to reach the place where you want to go. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, this shows I think your love, your effort, this shows I think your love of Dr. Patia.
We show that you will offer a great nutrition. We show that you take a better in the nutrition. We show that we nutrition that the future like you and they can always go. And uh, this function I think is a very, very important function because that's how I would say that if you take four means of this country, the south which is moving to the then I think that's the there. There is some events I think in other parts, but I'm very sure that south will be able to, I think, provide that kind of force, I think, to other parts of India too. This is a very, very important thing. And today, this is, I say it will be the most important thing because I always say one thing. You may say development, you may say growth. For me, there is only one indicator of growth and development, of policy, of governance. But that one indicator is employment. If in our country employment doesn't grow, it is only a bad crop. Because employment to a poor person or any person provides him, I think, a sense of uh, identity that, you know, I am there, then you have an access to uh, school, you have an access to hospital, you can have an access to a shop, uh, you can buy something, you can live. That tells the destiny, I think, of any provide one person employment in a family, and you see, I think, the way that the family undergoes a change. I think some of us who are sitting here, they all know that in our families, we got employment, and the way our families have grown, and their outlook has undergone a total change. So to me, I think, when you say financial statement, the bottom line is profit. And when I say, what is the bottom line of growth, prosperity of a country, uh, its future, to me, I think very clearly, are we able to provide employment to everybody, people, and those who are not able to do it, that kind of employment that they can, in the high handicap, doesn't mean that, you know, I'm good for nothing, I think I can just continue. So what do we do, I think? This is a very important thing, uh, and there are challenges, there are challenges of digitalization now, we have challenges of robotics now, artificial intelligence is coming, and every day when you open newspaper, you will start with, I think, a story which is not good. You see, I think threatening kind of thing, our younger people, they don't know what in their future. Are they going to make some employment in China? In China, somebody goes to China, every day they provide employment to 50,000 people, as compared to 450 in India. Now you can see the gap. And if we, I think, go with that speed and what will happen in the next one or two years? So I think if you have to arrest you know, uh, 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 this content in society, the only way is to do more and more, to create more and more employment, that means more and more equity, that means more and more industry, that means better like policy, and that means also, I think, new positions and outlook to share, I think, more with people. And uh, bring them, I think, when we are in summit place, we are not able to make any impact on the people over here, I think they are with us. You may be very big. But your weakness has not benefited from the world. Therefore, local connect can be quite, I think, at the moment, the issue, I'm very sure, I think, with Dr. Kote, I think this is a very, very important occasion. And when you go back, I hope I can you know, create, I think, a new shine, I think, in employment. Uh, let me again, I think, welcome Dr. Bhatia, his team, uh, all, I think, seniors in our industry, uh, captains over here, my colleagues over here. Thank you so much, and we look forward to your coming. In Telugu, is a Maldi You come again and again. You are most welcome. Thank you. 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 I also want to thank Professor Sai Kumar who came here. He is a socialist by his heart and approach. He loves to give back. He's taken, conducted 307 lectures till now and given away cash prizes to students to the tune of about 1,45,000. Big round of applause. So my colleagues will felicitate him from both of you. We give him a little shawl as a mark of our respect. We are also felicitating Dr. Mishra with a little uh, shawl. I am not going to give my services in America. <laughs>
United Nations is talking about sustainable development goals. One of the goals is water. 15 years from now, there will be no water. So my great-grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, his great-grandchildren, and many of your grandchildren and great-grandchildren will not have water. <coughs> I'm going to present to you a video which is titled, How Far Will You Walk For Water? If you feel guilty after today, blame me, I'm happy. But if you feel guilty after today, conserve water. Because you want to have water. One of the key messages I want to give is a social message. A message of transformation. And if I succeed today, will five of you out of the 40 people who are here today, from the corporate world and the rest of the academics, I think I have succeeded to a large extent. How far will you walk? For water. If you like it, express it. It's a lot of sacrifice to make a film. I promise you. Lights dim, please. Excuse me. Are you interested in water, madam? Hi there. This is water from Somalia. Oh, what's this one? That one's pretty close. This one is the ten kilometers. Children in Somalia are having to walk. 10 kilometers to get water, sometimes it's about up to 50 kilometers. So you need to walk 30 kilometers for this water. Are you interested? No, I'm not. So are you interested? Because I'm not selling any water today. This is my first customer. We've got different one kilometer of water. And he's got two kilometers to travel, 200 meters so far. Fortunately, you haven't traveled far enough. I finished. Yeah. So now you have the water. Oh, thank you okay. so much. Well done for getting it. You should always check the ingredients. Cover up. Cover up. Okay. Never say to say it. Those are all dead meat of pieces. Are you happy drinking this water? Um, nice. Water? They had a problem. And they didn't know how to resolve that problem. People like me and Dr. Mishra were traveling. We forgot our phones, we forgot our passport in the seat pockets. So what did KLM do? He came up with a very beautiful idea which was completely out of the box. And that idea made them think to do things differently. Uh, what I'm presenting to you is a problem solving and it certainly puts smiles on your face. It certainly makes you happy, but the fact remains that you don't do it. And if you were to apply this in your own organizations, life would transform. I make a living out of teaching, many of you know that. So I go door to door, I go place to place. I, I teach wherever, wherever, however I can. And uh, I write books. Many of you, some of you got my books. Anybody got this book? So put your hands up, all those who got this book. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one kilo each. This book weighs one kilo. No, I promise you, won't it? Weighs one kilo. And um, I produced it, I don't sell books, I just give them away. I produce about 15,000 books in a year. And I just give it away. The cost of production per copy is close to about 380 rupees. It's about 300, high quality production. But I, I want to tell you that um, that what you're going to watch today it should transform your thinking. Please, if it genuinely transforms your thinking, please applaud for that. The KLM, lights off, please. Hello, I'm Rashad Fintik and I'm the for today. And I can't really do anything else that anyone else can do. What we're going to do is to find the forms as soon as possible to bring it back to the owner. We houden het voor in social media in de gaten en de groen die na elke vlucht het vliegtuig checkt. Ik vind het ook wel heel erg leuk dat we natuurlijk een uh, beetje hulp daarbij krijgen.
told that there's a special guest, Dr. Mishra, your guest. Would you like to invite him, Mr. Mr. Shoma Shekhar? Would you like to invite him to say a few words? Mr. M. Shoma Shekhar. He's a deputy editor and chief of bureau of the business line. Mr. Shoma Shekhar, you're most welcome. The contribution of Mr. Swam Shekhar is very, very great to be there. He has taken me to new heights. Sir, wherever I go there, I find clipping from the business line and the and person who has done it. So he's completely engrossed 24 hours. And capturing the equipment and the analyzing and putting it for the home shaker. So please give a big round of applause. without anybody supporting me. Nobody supports me. I run like him, I run, go to every education institute that invites me. If they give my airfare, I'm grateful to them. But in his memory, they're celebrating in 15 states of the world. 15 states. Because, uh, you know, by constrained uh, historical coincidence, I happen to be working in Delhi when this IT boom started. You know, all this stuff, young boys you know, from garages to, you know, the Pradati uh, Maidan, some of the buildings there. And it was a highly rarefied uh, atmosphere. You know, people were very excited. You know, driving all this from behind and lobbying for IT to become what it is today. Well, this gentleman with uh, long hair, he had a, he had a great passion. And, uh, I don't think he succeeded as a entrepreneur or you know his company never succeeded. But what he has done to make Indian IT a force, a global uh, you know uh, brand and all that is something very very great. You know, but uh, many people have contributed later on, and the industry is what it is today. He had that passion. Unfortunately, he. Right, yeah. So uh, I would take this opportunity to refresh your memories that here was this chap, really great, he thought of things to Indian IT industry. I am happy that uh, some of the awards are in this memory. Beyond that, I think I don't want to you know, get into your thing and thank you very much for this patient listening. Uh, please, uh, you both of you should do the honors. I, I, I live the spirit of Deva. When he said Roti Kapra or broadband, he really meant it for India. Today I think um, he's not there. When he died, it was a big blow for me, a very dear friend of mine. So I think translating his vision into action is something I would love to do. Thank you so much. Okay. Sir, it's not required actually. It's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we have the list? Mishra, you have to present the awards, you can go. Okay, we'll have four or five people together. We take a group picture and um, we give you, um, uh, you know, you can say a few words. If you need a mic, you can use a mic. If your voice is loud enough, don't use a mic. And um, feel blessed and celebrated because Dr. Mishra will do some honors. Dr. Shankar Anna Pindi from no please be that sir from uh, Hindi Trade Capital.
Ramesh Mantana from Evoke Technologies. Uh, Dr. Bhatia has been telling for the last 10 years that we should have 
you know, an exclusive program for women on the board. I'm taking cue from that this year on 23rd and 24th November for the first time in the year. We are now doing a program, her time on the board. That will be the first of its kind. And next time we are going to Rome and then to Nam. So we have taken the lead about uh, 3,000 million directors. Which are, you know, they, they, they are being you know, put on the panel. They are going to Canada. But in Hyderabad now, for the first time, we have about 25 million directors coming from public and private sector. And uh, this great was Dr. Patrick. Uh, thank you, Dr. Bhatia and uh, Mr. Mishraji. Uh, I think it's wonderful uh, to have uh, to be here. Uh, I'm inspired by your words and went for a round, right? I think there's a lot all of us have to do back, you know, give back to the society, you know, through these colleges. So let's hope, you know, all of us will give that back. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you winners. We get the next set. Rashid, VPHR of. Asab, Asab Malu Technical Services, Dr. Mr. Kar. Namrata Sharma, Director HR of the Park Hyderabad. Gurpreet Bhatia, Senior VP HR of Talent Sprint. Kamini Pagati Mari, Value Momentum Software. Manuel Fernandez of Entelio Healthcare Solutions. So, a few words from yeah, sure. who would like to speak. Good morning to all. Uh, let me say a few words. Uh, this is fourth hour from Dr. Bhatia's uh, fantasy. Thank you so much, Dr. Bhatia. Thank you. Uh, I want to tell you something. You and me knows maybe 100 HR leaders across India. Correct? But Dr. Dr. Bhatia, across India, whoever HR leaders are there, not only in India, across the globe, he is the only one person connects to all HR leaders across the globe. <laughs> Connecting a network like him, we must learn. That is a great, great, great learning from Dr. Bhatia. We must learn to connect people across the world. With this small message, I once again thank you, IB and Dr. Bhatia, for giving me an thank you honor. So thank you so much. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bhatia and Mr. Sir. So I am here on behalf of Gurpreet Bhatia to collect the award. I am from her team, so she couldn't come here <coughs> for some personal reason. And uh, I'm very happy to be a part of her team. So I can say that once again, thank you, IP and uh, Dr. Bhatia and Vishra. Thank you. Um, hello, everybody. And first of all, let me thank the committee members who took this wonderful decision. <coughs> People say HR is a thankless job, but that's not anymore. Agreed. <laughs> that's not. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bad cold. Uh, HR is definitely not a thankless job. I think all of us, which uh, we first should recognize that, so that others also start recognizing us. I think HRs are just not for the employees or the employers, but they are for business. And as rightly said, that they definitely do act as catalyst in growing and expanding the uh, business. And especially as a woman leader, I think I'm really proud to be here and share stage with all of the veterans like you. And uh, I would like to thank my family, obviously my husband who is there, and who was more excited than me for this award. And uh, also would like to uh, 
dedicate this award to my organization, Value Momentum Software Services Private Limited, which has actually uh, given me this opportunity to prove myself and uh, you know enjoy this wonderful journey. So something that I had seen here, uh, the pain that you see initially actually become your biggest strength. I've experienced it. Thank you so much. For that. Well, when I say that, can I request Dr. Sulubna Sakra? She's head of our Satyamya DGDM program in HR. Thank you, Dr. Bajir, uh, for the awards. And uh, the reason why I'm also here is because I'm an alumni of IPE. Oh, wow. So, uh, <laughs> this is my very good job. This is my very good job. This is my Thank you so much. Thank you, Vinod. We have the next step to come. Head HR of Vaya Finster. Ramu Vemula Pali, Director HR Taj Krishna. Debashi Goshal, Head HR CBK Global. Satyam SV, Novotel Hyderabad, Director of Talent and Culture. And Ramachandar Madera, Chief HR Strategist, Nebula Soft and Food Bingo. Thank you. 